Hey, Slick, it's me. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor. And I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, Try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I'll, all right, I'm coming. Dumb luck right there. Got off lucky, homie. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You 
know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry in Murrieta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Where we going? We uh heading to the foundry place. It's the motherfucking hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who wanna clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston, that punk bitch, why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Look, man, Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Through the building. Watch your sector. 
some gold! Exactly, for now. So, ho, 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 ho. what's next, huh? We're just gonna wait around till someone kills us, or are we gonna wait until this fucker gets turned again? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, oh, let me see, there's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But they were gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh! I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike going Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga.
I got our plane. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and eat. If you can patch me into his radio mic, I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Oh, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. Oh, my God! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Oh. Fucking Christ. See me? Hey, Lester! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. So who we got, man? Harold Stretch Joseph. Still outstanding. I'm taking care of him. Fool, you, you here for me though, ain't you? I'm clear. Your pal Stretch, he ain't a problem no more, Frank. Wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed.
Combat situation. Guard the asset. Give him up. I'm here for you. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Drunk are usually dead. You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. Uh, let me buy a steak and uh, give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. Screw you! You're making a mistake! Pipe down! People want to kill you. You won't shut up. You don't want me as an enemy. Find
Find a happy place, you Zen cock! Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.
You've done well for yourself. What? What are, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well, I, I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor, are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me, of your own mother. I've been here for hours, and have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette or massaged my feet? I'm an old woman, and you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I am so sorry. I am... <laughs> there, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's enough. <laughs> Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly. For everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure.
meds, Mom! Mom! I got the meds! Mom! Mom! No, Mother! Fine, baby. Don't become no murder case now, nigga. Get shit till tomorrow. Yeah, baby. Hi. Just need your name and social. My name's going to do for now. Doing races, sometimes I defecate in my pants. Yeah, yeah! Hell yeah! I'm already pitted. Total pit sweat, dude. Get in there! Woo! I like pushing myself to the limit. Go. Yeah. Frankly.
that hey. sex tape of me and my ex? Almost crashed the... Hi. Yeah, sign up right here. Okay. Here goes nothing. Yeah. You know, I'm leaving my wife for a triathlon chick. I always do splints before race. Oh, hell yeah! Woohoo! I've been cross training like crazy.
Franklin. Here we go! Frankly. Here we go!
Frankly. Go. Ain't got any fucking sense.
Frankly. Go. Let's go! Frankly. Slow in the motherfucking head. Dude. Hey man! Yeah, yeah. Hello there! Hell 
Frankly. Here we go! Oh. Hey there, pussy. Are you watching? This is safer than crossing the street. <sighs> she bullshit. Well, less people have died doing this than crossing the street. How about that? <laughs> they called me insane when I said sell all your American equities. And now look at this shithole. <sighs> Come on, lady boy. Let's go. <sighs> Truck! The one that's accelerating, duh! Ha-ha! Boom! Fear cocktail with the twist! Shake it, not stirred! Drink it in, big guy! Yeah! 
ain't no problem. Oh, Captain Conservative actually jumped. Figured you'd take the elevator. Dude, it's me, Jeff. No way. The Dominator didn't make it. Anyway, I'm gonna drop you off at the rendezvous spot, all right? You overcooked it, huh? Shit. I'm the king, the emperor, the supreme being of overcooking. I'll incinerate whatever you put in front of me. Boom! Nuke that shit. Man, I was just saying you missed a truck, dawg. Maybe a gust of wind or something, that's cool. Nah, it ain't cool. Land Act Reservoir now, bitch! We'll set the sliders to maximum and bust your tiny little processor. Poof! I'm gone. Care what you say? Shut your mouth! Shut it! Shut! Just keep it shut! Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything! Well, fuck you! And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead, I really do. Mm. Ah. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. You mm. psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin, you're irrationally angry, nothing you say makes any sense, you are... Completely have no control of your emotions. We have nothing in common. Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it on the bike now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait. I'll get you. You are just perfect, crazy cakes. This. Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Bury the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Is that supposed to impress me? Look out! Oh, no! Don't tell me I gave you the carbon bike! This is ridiculous! I'm calling a drug test! You're so gonna crash! Just think of all the angry revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your thick head! 
Okay, well, jack me off into a cop, slap me around. We got options, baby. You need help. We both do. It's a recipe for disaster. That's why it's so perfect. None of your business, huh? Okay? Hey, it's huh? a slight accent. Huh? Fuck you. Hey, so huh? I grew up in Canada, huh? huh? What's a big fucking deal? Huh? You fucking whoa, whoa, racist! Whoa, 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 whoa. And before hey. you fucking ask! Chill, Holmes, chill. No, I'm not a motherfucker! did it all go wrong? Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, you nailed that bastard. All right, go ahead. She's waiting for you, right upstairs, okay? Bouncy, bouncy. All
Tony, Tony, Tony. Hope you had a good time up there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Bit skinny, but not, not bad. Where you know her from? You, uh, you ain't the pimp type. Pimp? No, she's my wife. She's my wife. I left my first wife and kids for her. Best decision I ever made. Oh, fantastic. I mean, she's been the making of me. Whatever gets you off, man. Listen, um, if, if you're up for it, do you remember that house on Eclipse where I was standing out in front of? Yeah. You remember? Okay, okay. Well, that's, that's my old place, and it, it's in foreclosure. But, well, if something was to, to, to happen to the place, you know, some gas gets spilled, I'd, I'd still get the full value in the insurance. I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I understand. I love you. <laughs> I'm, I'm real glad that you fucked my wife. Jesus. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's a can of gas in my car that you can take. Okay? Gasoline check. Just when I thought this situation couldn't get any more messed up. If I'd known she was his wife, I would... Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Tony, hey, hey, it's me, bud. Listen, there's a gas grill out by the pool. Now, you light that up, and I'll be able to see the fireworks from here. Now, you do this for me, and you will see just how grateful Mrs. Bernstein can really be. Leave it to me. Just feed her up a bit, will ya? How can it be wrong when it feels so right? Okay, time to light the grill. All for you, Mrs. Bernstein. Nice place, but give me the Billingsgate Motel any day. You know, Trevor, you could just go to a prostitute. Get out of here. Josh Bernstein, Realty. I hear that property on Eclipse is hot right now. Excellent. Let me speak to my better half about schedules and uh, we'll get back to you.